hello guys welcome to solving solutions on bond channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's lines having your class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to use arcgis pro to determine or calculate the centroids of polygons so we have actually used them qgis to carry out this same exercise and then we have also told you that centroid simply means the center of your polygon right good so its application can be maybe trying to determine the proximity of one polygon to the other maybe by having known the distance you want to measure the distance maybe the bearing between them or maybe you want to use them for easy labeling right good maybe you just want your labels to be at the center or maybe whatever application that um, you have for centroid so we have the administrative boundary of nigeria good so on um agis pro the tool to use is called them um, fissure to point right so let's um search for fissure to point good so we have a um, fissure to point it creates um, a point fissure class containing points generated from the representative locations of the input fissure right good so we open that up and then our input fissure will then definitely be what our polygon right good and then this is our by default the output and fissure class right so now um there is another tool here inside or maybe outside as the case may be it's actually optional but it's very important because it actually changes um, quite a lot you know they say them um, specifies whether to use representative center of input feature or locations contained by input feature as the output point location now it might sound a bit confusing but um, if you take your time you would understand what they mean so when it's unchecked, it uses the representative center of an input feature as its um, output feature location. This may not always be contained by the input feature. However, when it is checked, it uses a location contained by the input feature as the what um, output um, point location. So I think it's better to have it um, checked, right? Good. So having um, fixed all the parameters, we can decide to run good so you can see what the the centroids have been what have been generated for each of the polygons right good so for a purpose of for the purpose of check we can decide to uncheck the inside and then let's give this um, 22 just to give it another output um, facial class name and then we run so that we can compare the difference that um, will result from the both of them right good so you have um for this particular state you have about two different centroids right is that or is it for this other state so the point is that it's always better yeah it's always better that um, we try to leave it checked right because of the information provided by using it what checked uses a location contained in an input feature as the output um, point location right good so basically we have shown you using a um, RGS pro how to okay let's zoom this to layer instead how to determine the centroids of um, polygons right good and then we have also told you how you can apply them in a um, gis for different purposes so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye